Alright, so what are we thinking? I'm stuck between getting poached eggs on toast or a croissant. Croissant. But I'm starving. Yeah, we've got a bumpy boat ride, so you don't want to get filled up too much. I want some sweets. All right, so we've come to one of our favorite cafes in St. Peterport. It's called The Boathouse. It's right on the harbor, and um, we're going across to Herms. We thought this was quite a good place to come for some breakfast because the harbor, the ferry leaves just across the way. So we've been in here once before. The menu looks a little bit more expensive than it was before, but I think that was because we came during the off season, and I guess it's now peak season, so it probably is going to be more. And um, I've ordered a little coffee to start the day off properly and then a veggie breakfast and Gemma has gone for poached eggs on toast and uh, I'm very, very excited for this. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that we need a runny yolk. It's all good. Oh, that will moisten my bread nicely. That is a good yolk test. It is good. Success. And uh, I got the veggie breakfast, so that's got like halloumi, mushroom, tomato, and two poached eggs on a sourdough piece of toast. It looks like I've got a runny yolk as well, so it passes the yolk test and of course the avocado on top of the bread. And uh, it looks delicious, so I'm gonna get stuck into this and then we'll let you know how it tastes. My breakfast is enough. I've had a bite of it and now I want one. It's so good. So there's so much regret. <laughs> yeah, breakfast was good. I just need to head over here to buy some ferry tickets. I feel so much better. After that food. Good, good. Let's go. So I do think for the length of the journey, it's only 20 minutes from Guernsey to Herm. It costs fourteen pound for an adult. I think that's a little bit steep, to be honest. I really want to see a dolphin. Yeah, sometimes you can see them off the boat, yeah. but we've still yet to see one this year. So fingers crossed. Keep your eyes peeled. If I can keep them open. And now when you're arriving or leaving Herm, there's two different spots that you can actually get the ferry from, or will be able to get the ferry from, and it depends on the tide. At low tide, I believe, you can get it from the harbour, and at high tide, you can get it from the Rosier Steps, which are about a 10 minute walk round to the right. And uh, yeah, you can get on the ferry from there. Now because Herm is such a small island, there's only one way to actually get around it, and that's by walking. Now, if you want to bring your own bikes, there was nothing on the ferry saying that you couldn't bring bikes on it. Mm. But I don't know if I'd recommend it because the sure paths are quite sandy and thin. So uh, walking is probably your best bet. Yeah. But it only takes you, you can walk around the entire island following the cliff path and it would probably take you about two hours if you kept moving. So it's not that big at all and uh, it's a really nice walk to actually get around it. So we highly recommend trying to spend as much time around the coast and check it out as much as you can. We are now heading to one of our favourite spots. We didn't actually go down to it last time we were here because uh, we were just kind of passed straight by it, but it's a proper hidden little beach down on the left. I say hidden, but it's probably the busiest beach you can go to on the island because it's very sheltered from the wind and the, the weather system, so it's very popular. Hopefully it's not too busy today, but we just need to go and find out. Okay. 
Hey Gemma, should we see how, how quickly those guys down there can swim? If you want to shout shark, That's see if so they panic. <laughs> shark so in the mean. water! <laughs> No. Swim for your life, go! So there's two popular beaches in Guernsey. One of them is Shell Beach, which we spent some time on the last time we were here. The tide was a lot higher, and when the tide is far out, it's quite a walk to get to the water. Uh, there's a kiosk at the beach. There's toilets a six minute walk away, so they're not easily accessible, but they're not too far a walk. Um, but now we are at Belvoir Beach, which just, look at that. Isn't that just paradise? The water is so blue and the sand is like so white. It's amazing. There's also a kiosk on Belvoir Beach, so if you're looking for an ice cream, then you got one right on the beach. So, do you want to go get an ice cream? Come Absolutely. See? Let's get going because I'm starving. Well, that is an absolute disaster. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Shall we get in the sea anyway? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Sad faces. The finishing touches before we get in the water. This is a less dignified side of getting in. It's not a bad place to chill out though. Look at that view. See, I think compared to Shell Beach, this one is just so much more sheltered. And on a day like today, with the sun shining, but there's a northerly wind and the wind is freezing cold, Belvoir Beach is definitely the better choice. I think so. So we're making the most of the sunshine here. That water looks so inviting because it's so warm. But I can tell because I'm so warm right now, it's actually going to feel really cold. Yeah, it's going to be freezing when we get in there. I think it's going to be a bit of a run and jump. two different ways that we can get back to the Herm Harbour from here. You can either go that way along the cliffs, which we did last time. Views are spectacular and it's a really good walk. Or we can take the shortcut directly up and over, which we're going to do today. And uh, yeah, it's a lot more difficult, but it's a quicker way to get back to the harbour. If you cut up through the middle of a harem, it also gives you access to a little um, collection of houses. It's quite cute. It's like known as the kind of harem village area. And uh, in amongst these houses, you've got a place called the Harem Chapel, which we're going to go and show you as a quick tour of now. It dates back a couple of hundred years, I think, and it's quite a cute little place. So we'll show you what that looks like now. This is a site to Guernsey I can get behind. <laughs> yeah, don't eat that part. So this little chapel was built in the 11th century by the Norman monks. Now apparently for a short time in the 18th century it was actually closed down as a chapel and used only as a laundry. But since then it's opened back up it's open for a short 30 minute Sunday service and it's so cute. It's really small. Which leads us on nicely guys onto our last um, expected stop of the day. We're gonna head back down into Herm Harbour to the Mermaid Tavern and I've got a falafel burger that is calling my name. So let's go and eat something like that. So we're in the Mermaid Tavern now. I've got a pint of Coke. Campbell's got a pint of cider. And we've ordered two falafel burgers, which we've had before. They are amazing. They're £12. A little bit steep, but I guess we're on a smaller island. And it's actually really quiet in here. It's normally bouncing. Maybe that's because we're a bit later than lunchtime. We're kind of, what time is it? Half past three. Um, or maybe that is because there's a lot of stuff going on in Guernsey today, so there's not as many people in here. But I can't wait, I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's ridiculous, so I'm very excited to get burger. And here we have it. Last time we were saying they gave us two patties, but I guess it's because it was possibly an off season. Mm, and to be honest, I think one's enough. I yeah, just, I think so. last time, but oh, these Get stuck into this. Look at that burger, guys. And if 
you're not a vegetarian like us, we got the falafel burger, but if you like your fish, we highly recommend the fish and chips. It seems to be the most popular option, and uh, the food is just absolutely delicious here. It's pricey, but it's definitely worth it. All right, guys, so there you have it. What you can expect for a full day out in Herm. Uh, we're just about to jump on the ferry back. We've got some ice cream to go take home with us. Unfortunately, it's Cornish ice cream. And, uh, Still yummy though. Yeah, no hatred to any of our Cornish followers, but the Guernsey ice cream is just insane. And it blows my mind that they don't sell Guernsey ice cream right here, yeah. since it's just across water, but never mind. If you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. Let us know what your favorite part of Herm was in the comments. And if we missed any of the sites in Herm, I don't see how we could have, because it's got hardly any of them, but <laughs> let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, guys, you want to see more of Guernsey, and more of the Channel Islands, more of the world in general, hit that subscribe button and let us know on Instagram if you're following us. Go and follow us over there as well and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Alright guys, so you just sat through a 15 minute video where I've got to admit it's not the best work that Gemma and I have ever done. On this day the equipment wasn't quite vibing with us, there was a lot of takes where either the camera was overexposed, the microphone wasn't working, and I think going forward from here, there's going to be a lot more cases that are just going to be exactly like that. We are still quite new to this whole YouTube and thing. We've only been using this equipment for about six months, possibly even some of it about three months. And it's a constant learning experience for us. And I've got to say, guys, I thank every single one of you. You that sat there and watched this entire video up until this point are an absolute legend. And we cannot thank you enough for sticking by us for this entire time. I decided to make this point with you guys and have a chat about it because I think going forward from here there's a crucial turning point for this channel and it's one where we want to be more open and transparent about every single aspect of our lives. We've developed an amazing community and it's one that's beyond any of our wildest dreams, Gemma and myself, to be able to talk to you guys and have you listen to my, our voices for a whole 15 minute video and also be intrigued enough to comment on the videos. and join along in our adventures and be inspired by us and that is something that we think is absolutely incredible. I guess what I'm trying to say guys is that going forward from here we're probably going to make even more mistakes as we as we start traveling again we want to be trying to release more videos more frequently and when we're on the road there's only going to be more errors and we need to thank you guys for being patient enough to stick with us throughout these errors. I think going forward from here we're going to be wanting to be a bit more back and forward with you guys. What you expect, what you thought of the videos, and what you think we can actually do better. Like putting our phones in silent. What Basically what I'm trying to say is I want to try and develop a community of a bit more back and forward with you guys. What did you think went really well in each week's video? What could we have done better? And what didn't actually you like that much about it? These are all things that I really, really want to hear. I want to see your feedback in the comments section down below. I think I'll wrap that up there because I've yabbered on enough. I just want to say you guys thank you again one more time if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for next week's and i'll see you in the next one